look, a strawberry. Oh, look, a strawberry. Oh, really? <laughs> All right then, hello everybody, this is the Epic Game Guru, and this time I'm finally back to continue on the Worst of the Worst series, and today I'm going to go into the DS200 Revolver, or in this case the Chiapa DS200, which is considerably the worst pistol in the entire game. Despite it being very compact and actually pretty affordable, and you don't really need to worry about getting any form of attachments for it, this weapon itself is just generally bad. The only thing I have to mainly give it credit for is that it does run 9mm, which is really nice because you can at least get some AP rounds on it, but that could be done with just about every other weapon in the game. What do I mean by any other weapon can pretty much have AP rounds? Well, in spite of the fact that there are shotguns that don't really generally have too much in the way of AP rounds, there are a few shotgun shells, for example, that are pretty effective on them. The DS200, we have to keep in mind here, only holds 6 rounds, and that's also occurring to its bigger brother, the Chiapa Rhino 50 DS.357, which holds a really powerful round with some seriously powerful flesh damage. Interesting to note that the DS-50 though, however, does have very expensive rounds. Like anything in Tarkov that's like way over 100 rubles, you know you're going to have to fork in some serious dough if you're planning to survive the raid with it. As a price point comparison to the 357 and the 9mm, we could see that there is a huge comparison between the two. And also the flesh damage and armor piercing again would only be effective if the round is capable of doing so. And unfortunately for the 9mm, flesh damage itself is also more than halved. It's interesting to note that BSG decided to add revolvers into the game. I thought that the concept of it was actually kind of interesting, but in practice while seeing these guns in action, well, it's kind of slightly underwhelming, and I'll explain that here in a bit. Like every other weapon that I tested in this game, I do still have to give it a try here in the firing range, so we're definitely gonna have to see what this revolver is capable of, despite its mediocre, sadly looking tiny baby dick size. Well, that was about four rounds shot into it. Now I gotta go check out if those rounds are even precise or at least near exact to where I was shooting at. Looks like those bullets are going a little bit lower than centered circle, which was what I was aiming for. So that could be something on the revolver itself. So I'm definitely going to have to do run some more tests on this one. I was also running it on double action. So maybe single fire makes a difference. Good god, the animation for this is just ridiculous. It's like going all over the place as you're trying to use it on single action. What the hell is this madness of a revolver that I'm trying to use? One thing I will have to say though is that this game is pretty realistic about the reload rate of revolvers at least because it takes so long to reload every single shell at a time and I do not understand why he does not have a moon clip or at least some sort of speed loader with this thing. I know this is going to be really weird to explain for this video, but this revolver for some disturbing reason works better in double action than single action. I don't understand why that is the case, it might be the same case for the DS50, I will have to make a different video for that in the future, but for some disturbing reason, the DS200 just functions better in double action. Alright, now would be a very good time to test out and check out where these shots are actually being landed on, because this is the furthest target I could get. Or at least it's pistol range and as i can see it's not too bad the pattern seems to be pretty okay for what it's trying to accomplish it feels so weird knowing that this revolver shoots just a little bit below the iron sight okay now i gotta painstakingly reload every single round once again now for a decently hard challenge how good is it from far distance Okay, that is so strange. That is very strange. I did not expect the bullets to even make it all the way across, but one thing that kind of shocks me is that pattern. That is one hell of a wicked pattern to be able to try to shoot somebody with this thing. Alright, all test results are in. Definitely gonna have to try this out and escape from Tarkov. I'm gonna go in as a naked Timmy with basically nothing because I have absolutely no confidence I'm gonna survive with this thing in factory alone with no armor. You ever have one of those moments when you're thinking like, Am I actually going to make it out of a raid with this gun? Probably not. Heard a lot of shooting over here near factory on the three stories. Let's see if I can get lucky enough to at least land one PMC or bear kill. 
But I still have to get a PMC or bear kill, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to loot a body that I just recently found out of nowhere in a raid. This guy actually had a pretty decent 300 blackout rifle. Pretty nice getup as well. I'm not going to deny, he did make me poop a little. I should probably send a little bit of a gift downstairs for him. Based on my luck, I can guarantee you that grenade did not kill him. I do hear somebody scammering about here, though. Okay, that's... That's probably never gonna happen again. And now all I gotta do is just make my way out of here. Okay. Or I could have possibly the worst luck in the world. I'm crippled and he threw a frag. Well, that was a very set course of unfortunate events, and after getting some pretty decent loot, I'm a little bit um, kind of peeved about that, you know? I thought I was going to be able to finally be done with my DS-200 revolver, but... And I have to reload every single bullet at a time, even in my own inventory. Oh, yeah, that totally makes sense. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully this time we can actually get some better results instead of just dying immediately to a nade while my freaking leg required a splint. Worst case scenario, I might spawn underground. Shit. Alright, I managed to make my way all the way back up to the three stories of factory. Let's see what will happen this time. I'm not even gonna deny the stairs always make me want to clench my butt cheeks. And then somebody decided to break a door in. It is gonna be interesting. Alright, I'm surprised I managed to get those shots in, but now for the world's longest, longest, longest reload. When are you gonna put those rounds in, man? Come on, we, if you're still in danger, like, okay, finally, good god, why is the animation for that so long? I have, I have no idea why that enemy decided to just stay and wait there, knowing that that's exactly the same spot that his friend got domed, but hey, I'm not going to complain about it. A win's a win, and I might as well take all this stuff. Exit seems pretty cleared out, too. So what are my final thoughts on the DS-200? Well, it's a gun. That's... That, that, that's like the only positive thing I could I could think about. It just goes pew pew and you have to hope to God that you're able to land your headshots. Well, either way, I hope you all enjoyed the video, everybody. This has been Epic Game Guru. If you're interested in anything else, everything will be in the description below. Hope you all had a fantastic day and I hope to see you all around the next one.